My name is Malik and today I will teach you how to install the new Windows 10 on a computer together with Windows 11 without losing your personal data, and during installation your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. Okay, follow me as in the video, step by step, and you will install the new Windows 10 on one computer together with Windows 11, be careful and we will succeed. First, you need to allocate space for Windows 10 on your computer's disk, to do this, right click the start button and select Disk Management. The Disk Management window opens, right-click on Drive C and select Shrink Volume. In this window we see Total Volume Size Before Compression, Space Available for Compression, and in this tab we can enter the required size of the compressed space. All values in this window are in megabytes. To specify the size of the compressed space, we can simply delete this number and write another number we need. For this part of the disk I allocate 100,000 megabytes, that is 100 gigabytes, you can specify a different size based on the size of your disk. Just below is the total size after compression, now you need to click, shrink. Now we see that disk C has been divided into two parts. In one part is my C drive with Windows 11, in the other part there is unallocated space and this is exactly the part of disk C on which we need to install the new Windows 10. Now you need to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 10, and to do this, connect a USB flash drive with a capacity of at least 8GB to your computer, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. Pen your browser and in search right, download Windows 10. Or open the video description and click the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page has opened, and here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 10. To download a special application for creating a bootable Windows 10 flash drive, click here. The application has been loaded and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I left English. Next. In this window we can choose to download the ISO file, I recommend choosing to create a bootable USB flash drive Windows 10. Next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click, Next. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. Ok, we see that the process is complete and now you need to click, Finish. Let's see how the flash drive is made. I open Explorer, then open this PC, and in this window I open the contents of the flash drive. Here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 10 on the computer. In order to install Windows 10 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the boot menu. Immediately after the reboot starts, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to call up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it may be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard in different computers may have different keys to call up the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive in the boot menu. Press, Enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here, next. Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key, I used to have Windows 11 Pro installed on my computer, and now I don't need to enter the product key, because the activation of the new Windows 10 Pro will be done automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 10 Home, 
if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. Next. Click, here to continue with the installation. In this window we need to select a location to install Windows 10. Here we see several small system partitions, as well as my C drive with Windows 11, I can determine the C drive by its size, it is more than 800 gigabytes, and we also see a partition with unallocated space, this is the partition I created to install Windows 10. Your window will look a little different, but I hope that you will also determine the partition with unallocated space to select it for installing Windows 10. To start the installation, you need to click on this partition, and press, next. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The operating system boot selection menu has opened. Now, after each time you turn on your computer or after it is rebooted, you will select the operating system you need to boot from this menu. And just like that, all the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. To create a local account, you need to click, Offline account. Here you need to click, Limited experience. In this window, you need to create a username. Next. Here you need to enter a password, but I will do it later. Next. The new Windows welcomes us. There is very little left. Yes. Windows 10 has been successfully installed on my computer and I hope that everything will be fine for you too. Let's open settings. And look at my account data. Here we see that my Windows 10 is managed by a local account, and if you want to sign into a Microsoft account, then click, here, and then follow the system recommendations. Now let's see how the new Windows is activated. I open the activation tab, and here we see that Windows 10 has been activated automatically. Then I open the This PC window, and here we see Drive C with Windows 10, and Windows 11 is defined here as Drive D. Before finishing this video tutorial, I will show you how to switch to Windows 11, for this you need to restart your computer. The computer rebooted and a window opened where we can select the required operating system using the keyboard. Press, Enter. Let's check how Windows 10 looks into this PC window. Windows 11 is here on Drive C, and the drive with Windows 10 is now identified by the letter D. I open the drive with Windows 10, open the Users folder, and here we see the name of the user who controls Windows 10, this is Malik number 2. Yes, the whole process went well for me, I hope that everything will go well for you too. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Have a nice day.